this video is going to explain how to carry out multiple appliance ventilation calculations. This is an area that in my experience a lot of students are very confused about. It's actually very easy and I hope this explains to you a simple way to carry the calculation out. So before we start, let's have a quick recap of how we ventilate the different types of appliance. So with an open fluid appliance, we have a look at the kilowatts it's meant to be producing. We take away seven from that. Whatever you've got left, you times by five, and that gives you the centimeters squared of ventilation that you require. I'm not going to go into a big lesson about ventilation. I've got other videos on how to do that. The next type is flueless and you simply use the flueless chart in your book. Nobody calculates this. They just look at the chart and it tells you how much ventilation you're meant to have. And the last type is room sealed and you don't need any ventilation at all for them. Okay, that being over, let's get into what happens if there's more than one appliance in the same room and how do we work out the ventilation for that? Well, we've got room sealed, open fluid appliances, flueless appliances, and you've got flueless cookers. They all need different types of ventilation or different amounts of ventilation or the way you calculate their ventilation is all different. Now this leads to multiple appliance ventilation when there's more than one in the room seeming very complicated but it's not. It's actually very simple. There are only three categories that you need to take any notice of when you are ventilating more than one appliance in a room. And the categories are open fluid space heaters. Now a space heater is anything that is designed specifically to heat a house. So that's boilers and fires. They are space heaters. If it's designed to heat a house it's called a space heater. So the first one is an open fluid space heaters. The second one is flueless space heaters. So you've got open fluid space heaters, flueless space heaters, and the last one is any other type of appliance. So if it's not an open fluid space heater, and it's not a flueless space heater, then it must go in the last category. So for this exercise, this is a typical exam question or something you might get asked. You will definitely have exam questions on this for your ACS and for your city and guilds. So you've got to know how to do this. We're going to use a 21 kilowatt room sealed boiler, a 6 kilowatt open fluid fire, another 6 kilowatt open fluid fire, a 3.7 kilowatt flueless fire, and a 13 kilowatt cooker. All of these are going to be in the same room for the sake of this explanation. Looks quite complicated. It's not. It's very easy. So here we go. Remember, you've got flueless appliances, so you must know the size of the room. 
if you're calculating a flueless ventilation you need to know the room size and the room size for this exercise is 30 meters squared first thing I always do is I make a simple chart it's only six squares the first three on the left hand side you put in your different categories your open fluid space heater flueless space heater and anything else very simple so let's do that in the open fluid space heater category there were two open fluid fires fires are space heaters they go in there in the flueless space heater category we had a flueless fire now a cooker although it's flueless is not a space heater so it goes in other the room sealed boiler although the boiler itself is a space heater it's not flueless and it's not open fluid it's room sealed so it goes in the other category then you simply work out the ventilation requirements for each category so in this case we've got two six kilowatt fires six of six is twelve minus seven equals five and you simply multiply that number by five to get the ventilation requirements 25 centimeters if you don't know how to do this I've got other videos explaining how you ventilate these different types of appliance so for the flueless space heater you simply use the flueless chart and that would tell you that a 3.7 kilowatt fire in a 30 meter squared room requires 155 centimeters squared of ventilation again with the cooker it's a flueless appliance you go and look at your flueless chart and it will tell you that a cooker in a 30 meter squared room requires no ventilation the boiler being room sealed also requires no ventilation so if you add these two up naught and naught it equals naught that's your basic chart showing you how much ventilation is required for each category not for each appliance for each category the largest one of these is the flueless space heater category so and here's the bit that confuses everybody you only use the largest category for your ventilation do not add up the different categories you simply take the ventilation requirement for the largest category so for that room with all of those appliances in it the total ventilation required is 155 centimeters squared I hope that's cleared things up for you and good luck with your assessment